What's up guys? My name is Ethan Koshar and I'm here today with Ross Drucker from Motion Board Shop to teach you how to do this fat toast. First things first, you gotta make sure you're wearing your helmet, got your gloves on, and elbow and knee pads help a lot too. And then you gotta work on your foot position. First off, front foot, I like to put it at about a 45 degree angle. And then back foot, you also get at a similar kind of 45 degree angle and may even turn it in a little bit more, kind of like you're in more of a tuck position. If your feet are all square like this, then you can't, you're not gonna be able to turn around and it's gonna be really awkward feeling. Then you dig it into whatever you got here for a pocket. Some people hang it over on the edge to get a little monkey toe action going. And some people on the drop decks will get it into the back drop. I have a little lump here that I made out of some vicious grip tape that's stacked up so I can wedge my toe in there real nice and I don't get any slipping. I know where I am at all times. Okay, so next important thing is to get low. Start out real low like this with your knees bent, so that way you have a lot of power and explosion out from a squatted position. So that way when you start, you can kick it out and slowly extend upwards, pushing the board out and really drawing out the check. That's the main thing you gotta focus on is a real slow, like upwards rise pretty much from your knees. But main thing, you do not wanna go completely straight with your knees, because if you do, that's usually how people get high sided. So start out low, kick it out and draw it out and have a little bit of bent knees there so you can, so if you start to high side, you can just push through it, maybe 180, to save your head. All right, so the next big thing is your setup carve. You wanna take a wide sweeping carve on your heel side, get really low into that power position that Ethan was just talking about, so that when you transition from your heel to your toe, that's when you can pop it and initiate. So you, get, you build up your momentum on the heel side and then you push into it flow it up and take a little bit of your weight off so you can glide into the slide. Okay, now to initiate into your slide, you're gonna have that power stance real low, and what you're gonna do is from this compressed position, you're gonna spring upwards throwing your arms. So, you're gonna throw them like that. So, you're gonna compress, and then you're gonna stand up. You're gonna rotate your shoulders to the right if you're goofy, to the left if you're regular. So rotate like that as your hips go the opposite direction. All right, one more key thing when you're initiating into your slide, to make those wheels break free, you really have to push with your back leg. So with your back arm, which for me is my left arm, you're gonna like, wanna punch, punch outwards. That way you're working against the resistance of that with your back leg. So you punch and you extend like that. Remember, you don't wanna go full extension all the way because that'll make you kinda high side probably. So start it out, get it small and slowly push through that. How's it going guys? Last time it rained and now we're in different clothes. Okay, so anyways, when you want to hook up your slide as a check, you're gonna throw your arms outwards, like for me it's to my right, so I'm gonna throw them out to the right and kick my back leg out. Now, to hook it up as a check, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull those arms the opposite direction, so that way you can just crank your front foot. So you can't exactly, in a backside check, pull the back foot in because it's physically impossible, but what you can do is put a tiny bit of pressure on that so you de-weight the front and you can have your front foot meet your back foot and hook up straight. So, as a goofy rider, I throw my arms out to the right and I kick my back leg out and now I'm gonna pull them in uh, to the left and then push my front leg out. So the whole motion goes like one, two. All right, so common problems you're gonna have are either gonna be high siding or washing out. And when you high side, it means you're stood up a little too high and your wheels start to grip up and it'll kick you off. And when you wash out, it means you're a little too low bent over and you're gonna fall down and put your hands in the ground. Sorry. That's definitely the preferable of the two. So if you're gonna err on one side, you're probably gonna wanna err on leaning over a little too much. And it's kind of a fine balance point, so you gotta kinda figure out where's the right place for your body to be. And you always wanna keep a little bit of play in your knees so that you can adjust if you feel yourself starting to tip over the top back into it a little more or vice versa if you're a little low you can kind of stand up a little higher. A lot of times when I'm starting to feel at high side 
I'll stand up a little more and I'll get this kind of arc in my back going and that can kind of help for a little bit but eventually it's going to kick you off. Strucker here signing off with Ethan Koshard and Motion Board Shop. I want to remind you to always ride safe, wear your helmets, wear your gloves, and ride within your limits. If you guys got any questions or concerns, visit us at motionboardshop.com and hit us up on the live chat or you can visit our Facebook page, Lobo or Motion Board Shop. Take it easy, guys. See you next time. Good shredding.